At times patients come to the dentist with a complaint of a severe burning sensation in their mouth. On examination, some of them will be diagnosed with lichen planus. But most of them do not understand the nature of disease progression in lichen planus. Hence, I am going to give a brief overview along with natural and home remedies for oral lichen planus. Oral lichen planus is a chronic inflammatory condition affecting various parts of the oral cavity. One peculiar feature of lichen planus is, it has periods of waxing and venting. Let me explain in detail. A patient with oral lichen planus complains of a severe burning sensation for a few days or weeks, later the disease becomes dormant for another few weeks. Again, the same cycle repeats. In simple words, we can say that the disease occurs cyclically with periods of severe illness, followed by periods of no infection. It is the principal characteristic feature of lichen planus. Hence people with oral lichen planus often complain only about, episodic burning sensation of the oral cavity. There are many types of oral lichen planus. Their presentation varies in the oral cavity according to the kind of oral lichen planus. In most cases, oral lichen planus represents white lacy-like lines on a red background. These can be easily identified in inner cheek regions. It also involves other parts of the oral cavity like the gums, palate, and tongue. Lichen planus can be represented in various forms in the oral cavity. It is sometimes difficult to identify, and many times are confusing to differentiate from other diseases. Hence, it's always better to consult an oral physician or an oral medicine expert for diagnosing the disease. Symptoms The primary symptom of oral lichen planus is a burning sensation. This feature is observed in almost 90-95% to 95 of patients. They find difficulty in eating spicy food. In severe conditions, this burning sensation can increase to such a level, where the patient senses burning sensation even during drinking water. In most cases, we can see white lines in the lesion area, on a red or inflamed background. This is called the reticular lichen planus. In some patients, we do not see any white lines. But some reddened or inflamed areas can be seen. Such patients with severe burning sensation are usually diagnosed with erosive lichen planus. In a few cases, oral lichen planus patients find bubbling of the affected area, which ruptures and bleeds profusely. This condition is a variant of oral lichen planus called bullous oral lichen planus. Causes We cannot attribute oral lichen planus to one specific reason. In most cases, they are connected with the T-cell immunity of our body. Some consider it as one form of autoimmune disease, where the immune cells of our body fail to recognize our innate cells and destroy our body cells, leading to severe tissue injury. There are many research articles, which attribute oral lichen planus with stress. Yes. Stress is one crucial factor that is known to cause and aggravate oral lichen planus. Depression, anxiety, and stress can affect the way oral lichen planus progresses. They have a profound impact even on the treatment. Stress management is a primary concern in patients with oral lichen planus. The effect of the medication is less effective if the respective patient fails to manage his stress. Oral lichen planus biopsy Many a time the clinical presentation of oral lichen planus may not be as classic as we read in books. Sometimes it's hard to confirm oral lichen planus based on clinical presentation only. In such a case, your dentist will advise a biopsy for histopathological confirmation. The decision whether to go for a biopsy or not will and should be decided by your examining dentist. Histopathological evidence of oral lichen planus gives a good idea of the nature of the lesion. It will help the dentist in formulating a proper treatment protocol. Treatment Almost 90% to 95% of patients with oral lichen planus complaint of severe burning sensation. Hence the primary mode of treatment is directed towards decreasing burning sensation. In this regard, patients are advised desensitizing or anesthetic mouthwashes to reduce the burning sensation. This helps the patient in taking a good diet. As a result, the body gets a good nutrition supply. Along with it, the treatment should be directed towards decreasing inflammatory factors, which aggravate burning sensation. 
In this regard, the dentist advises various modes of anti-inflammatory drugs and immunity-suppressing drugs like steroids. The method of application depends on the severity of the disease and is decided by the dentist. The final treatment protocol is directed towards decreasing stress. Patients are counseled to identify their problems. It's always better to consult a psychologist or stress therapist in case of severe stress. Patients are also advised nutritional supplements along with the above medication. Oral Lichen Planus and Cancer The probability of oral lichen planus transforming into oral cancer can never be neglected. In a recent article published in the Journal of Oral Disease, a systematic review was done on the malignant transformation rate of oral lichen planus. They found a 1.37% chance of oral lichen planus turning into malignancy. Though the number appears to be small, the impact of oral lichen planus on oral cancer is profound. It is an excellent practice to undergo a biopsy in oral lichen planus, which gives a clear idea of the stage of dysplasia. Dysplasia is a measure of malignancy. The more the dysplasia, the more is the chance of lesion turning into cancer. Diet I always advise patients with oral lichen planus to have a more vegetarian diet full of antioxidants. Food with antioxidants, help in prompt healing of the lesion. Having green tea in the morning is a good practice, as it contains a high concentration of flavonoids. Tomatoes contain a high level of antioxidants. Lycopene, the natural extract of tomatoes is given as an antioxidant supplement in many diseases. Food rich in omega-3 fatty acids aid in combating inflammation of the oral cavity, aids in the fast healing of the disease. Oral Lichen Planus Natural Treatment The primary mode of treating oral lichen planus naturally is to control stress. A stressful life not only aggravates the condition of disease but also makes the treatment in vain. I advise patients to do yoga and meditation regularly. Meditation is a powerful weapon in stress management. There are many proved cases where stress can be managed with meditation. I have seen an improved effect of meditation on oral lichen planus in many patients. Meditation and medication act synergistically. The impact of drugs can be increased through meditation. Moreover, I advise patients to be away from foods, which they are allergic. Any allergic material may also aggravate the lesion. It can be even drugs. Hence patients should be cautious and should also observe their allergic status regularly. A condition called lichenoid reaction mimics lesions like oral lichen planus but is purely from an allergic background. If you want to know more about lichen planus, you can read our book, A Patient's Guide to Oral Lichen Planus, the best-seller book on oral lichen planus. Link is given in description. Wait a minute. Hi. I am Danta, your virtual dentist. My job is to simplify and explain the complex fields of dentistry. Hope you like the information we provide. Unfortunately, 99.6% of our viewers are not subscribing to our channel. We urge you to click on the subscription button and the bell icon for regular videos from us. We strive hard to upload good and valuable content in our channel. Your motivation and support have bought us till here. If you find any value in our videos and if you think they helped you, please do subscribe to our channel. Thank you.